Welcome back to West Texas View. Welcome back to the West Texas View. I'm Johnny Lou Avery and Shannon Tate and Jesse Willman are here to talk about Summer Mummers. And they're the co-authors of the script. And we were talking before the break about the history of the Summer Mummers. It's been going on for 62 years. And when anything lasts that long in West Texas, we really celebrate just that as much as anything. But every year it's such a rollicking good time and just laugh and laugh and laugh. And the, the fact that you two wrote the script this uh, this year really impresses me. So let's talk about the script a little bit. Okay, um, we decided to go with an American Idol theme. Um, I mean, obviously we, they didn't just choose us to write a script and we got to do it. We wrote a script, it was in competition with a few other scripts and we got lucky enough to be chosen. But we decided to go with an American Idol theme because um, we decided it's pop culture even if you don't necessarily watch the show all the time, you know what happens on the show. You know people sing, you know they get judged, you know it's a competition. So you don't have to watch the show to know, you know, how American Idol goes. And uh -huh. so that's the theme that we went with So since it's so well known. Uh -huh. We actually got together the week before that it was due. Uh, we had been talking throughout the time before that and we're joking and said well we should do this theme and we came up with the names of the characters before we did anything else and then we stopped we weren't going to go forward we weren't going to we didn't have plans on writing the script we were just joking, joking around, around one night <laughs> and then it came to the week before the scripts were due for submission and uh, we decided hey let's go ahead and do this so I, I called into work and played hooky one day and uh, Shannon came over and we spent nine hours on the first act and then the rest of it just kind of fell into place and we only spent two other days on the script and uh -huh. then we submitted it and it was selected. Well you have to have a really good sense of humor to write a <laughs> script like this. We joke about that because we think we're hilarious <laughs> and we thought this is a funny script but we had you know nervous feelings that they were we were going to submit it and they were going to be like this we is not catch. funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we were a little nervous about that but thankfully everyone thought it was as funny as we thought it was. <laughs> But like she said, it's the, the neat thing about this year's script is that it's contemporary and it's set in the present day. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of the scripts in the past been have, cowboys have been cowboys, <laughs> have been the 1940s, the 50s, the 60s. And so uh -huh. to have something that's present day is a change. And uh -huh. uh, it's, it's very exciting to see that we can uh -huh. still take this old form of theater and, and wrap it around a contemporary and script. And already, even though it's only been going for a couple of about three weeks now, uh, it it is uh, absolutely amazing how much excitement it's generated already. So again, we want to really urge people to call all of their relatives to come in for a weekend and make this kind of the centerpiece and and uh, uh, get get tickets early. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about. I'm not that familiar with what Olio is. Olio is the second part of Summer Mummers. There is always the First, let's back up just a little bit because okay. there is the, the melodrama and in between the melodrama we have what is called a movie oh, yeah, uh -huh. And they drop a screen and we have a silent black and white film that have the same actors that you see on stage and it just helps progress the plot. And that happens at least six or seven times throughout the, the melodrama and it's a lot of fun. because So we you're have seeing this kind of silent movie. Yes. That that you can follow along from where you left off with the live actors. With. Yes, and then okay. we have Mike Sherrod, who is our uh, Summer Mummers band leader and pianist, and he plays along with the movie, and it's just a lot of fun, and you see a lot of places locally in town that you'll notice. Bahama Bucks is usually there. Um, they go other places, historic sites, to do the filming, and so that's a lot of fun to see mm -hmm. the characters in Midland. Uh -huh. And then the second part is the Olio. Yes, and the Olio is um, two acts long, but it's several minute to minute and a half skits, funny skits. I mean, Phil Titanic is our Oleo director, and I don't know how he comes up with half of the things he comes up with, but he just comes up with the funniest random skits, and you wouldn't think they'd be funny, but then when it's all put together, it's just a blast, and it's, I mean, it's hilarious. And I mean, it's not all just funny skits. There's the dancers, which we're both, in the Oleo uh -huh. as dancers where we, you know, dance for a minute and a half to a song, uh -huh. you know, but, um, and then you have your acts that 
are brought back every year. You have your idiot stick, you have your mule train, which is the crowd favorite, and then you have your new X every year, which Phil comes up with, with help from others. Uh -huh. But um, that's, I love everything about Mummers, but the Oleo is usually the crowd favorite. Oh, it can okay. be compared to, it's, it's almost like a modern day vaudeville. Uh -huh. um, it's just a bunch of different things. Uh -huh. There's singing, there's dancing, there's comedy sketches. I, I know what it is, I just didn't know it was called that. Yep. The All-American <laughs> Oleo. <laughs> You've got the card girl that walks across yeah, a card before every act, and which uh -huh. Jessie's one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> she just says everything. Well tell me though how, about the costuming, because in this modern day, are they, do you have any costumes or do they just wear whatever they want to wear? We do. Um, Gina Tumlin is our costumer, and she is fabulous. And um, even though it's modern day, you still your heroine is still you know innocent and naive. She wears the little pink you know plaid <laughs> dress with you know she's demure exactly. And then the villain. I mean, nobody wears a cape these days. I don't know that they ever did, but the villain always has a cape and a top hat. You know, so it's even though it's modern day, you still have. You certain know. identifying exactly. characteristics. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Gina also costumes the Oleo as well. And the Oleo has lots of costumes. About 30 people. Uh -huh. And so for her to do not only double cast with the melodrama, so around 24 people plus another 30 people, it's, it's just a huge production. Uh, when we go into, people ask us all the time how many people are involved in Mummers, it's almost 100 people just on stage alone. And uh -huh. that doesn't count the other 50 to 100 uh -huh. people that do All the popcorn the and the token selling mm -hmm. and that are in the box office, bartending, backstage, light crew, um, it, it just goes on and on and on. And the great thing is, is that they're all volunteers. Uh -huh. um, there is no one paid at the at the summer mummers except for the people uh -huh. who clean up the popcorn afterwards and our police officers. But, uh, but again, it, that money goes for a great cause because it helps to support all of the wonderful live theater yes. at Midland it Community Theater. It is our theater. main uh, fundraising for our operations budget at Midland Community Theater. Because most often a ticket sales to a, a, a theater, uh, a play, does not cover all the costs. Oh that are no, it doesn't and, even come close. And the so. times and efforts that it takes to, to have a staff. And, and the staff has done a wonderful job over the years to, to keep that thing very viable and going. But uh, uh, again, I want to, I want us to talk about how important it is to call ahead for tickets because as you can as you can see from all the excitement and enthusiasm from these two people that that you know that the word of mouth is going to cause a lot as we get closer to the end of the season a lot more people are going to uh, be coming out for that but <clears throat> this is this is like nothing else in in uh, the whole Permian Basin area. So I want to urge you to write down that number that rolls across your screen and call that number and get reservations for one of these weekends. We're going to be back with our final segment in just a minute. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. 